Hello folks, and this is Kiki. Uh, it's been a while since I posted a vid, and uh, for the most part, this is due to uh, SOPA, or Stop Online Privacy, uh, bills going through Congress, and I figured that I would kind of, kind of slow down on them. Uh, however, I do know that uh, some MMOs do allow folks to make YouTube videos and stuff, so I figured I would do that instead. Also, I figured most indie gamers probably would too, just for free publicity, but uh, you never know with them. Uh, and really, I don't understand this law too well. You're trying to get permission, but yet there's no way to get permission, so then you couldn't do anything at all with it. Um, okay, how exactly would internet marketing work? Anyway, uh, I'm pretty much showing off my uh, space Lego. Uh, it's going to be a couple of one-on-one -on -one matches and uh, one team match uh, versus a player named. Uh, S-Y-N. I did these recordings uh, pretty much when the server started. Uh, so I've moved on way beyond this, but I still like to use my Leo from time to time. And uh, this part here is a key unit to make tall geese, uh, which is another video that I'll be doing. To just kind of show you guys how to craft and stuff. I also have two other suits I'm going to show off uh, at a later date. But I figured since I hadn't posted for a while and uh, people are still kind of irked with SOPA uh, and me just kind of, well, going bonkers with Estigo, uh, I figured I would just post something that I know the uh, publishers, or I'm sorry, the current game holders are allowing people to do. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, but supposedly there's a congressional vote on it tomorrow. Uh, if you want to look up any information about uh, SOPA, uh, it's HR3261. Uh, you can look up Library of Congress or just Congress and Google and then go to bills and whatever and then type in HR3261 and it'll uh, t explain the bill. Uh, supposedly they're admitting it and then they're going to do a vote on it tomorrow. So uh, for those who watch C SPAN and stuff, uh, you know, uh, go ahead. I'm surprised the issue didn't come up too much on all the YouTube voting issues. Ahem, but uh, whatever. Uh, I know that guy with the glasses has an uh, online petition going on about it. And uh, also, as far as copyright and indie gamers are going, uh, Mirajat told me a little later tonight uh, that there's an actual charity event uh, for indie gamers called the hum Humble Indie Gamers or something like that. Uh, basically what it is is you get like four indie games or a pack of indie games. Uh, and you donate to charity and the developers themselves, and you can assign how much you want to donate and how much you want to give to the developers, how much you want to give to the charities, and that sort of thing, which is pretty neat. Of course, me being a poor person, I can't do that, but uh, I did figure that that is a kind of a worthy cause and something to kind of support indie gamers about, and I figured I would kind of say something about it. Uh, when I checked it out, there are some Steam games, there's Minecraft, there's uh, probably Terraria, I don't know. Uh, a lot of Steam games. But basically, like I said, you just buy your pack, 
and then uh, you can donate anywhere from 15 to 100 bucks, uh, you know, for however you want to donate for them. And uh, other news. Uh, for those interested in Hacks Ball, there's supposed to be another uh, Pacific Hacks Ball League season coming up. Uh, I've been so busy with Essigo, I haven't had much time for Hacks Ball. But I might pop in every once in a while. I sometimes do commentary for them when they uh, have their games. Not often, though, but sometimes. And as you can see here, this map is very, very laggy for me. I, I don't know why. Uh, see, we had a new. When I, at the time of this video, we had like a map patch where we had a bunch of clan maps and regular maps uh, shown up, and the majority of them were very, very laggy. And I, I'm not sure what it is. But uh, for this video, it was my own fault because I had just recently got the patch and. Uh, I forgot to defrag it, being a nitwit. Anyway, as you can see, we tied. So, we're going to try it again. This is me and, and Sin, uh, part two. But when it decides to load, yep. Now when we get to the tall geese segment, I'll actually show some of the PvE stuff because I know you guys like kind of like to see the variety of stuff. And since I've been doing a lot of PvP maps, I figured I'd do a PvE map and show you how to craft and all that stuff for this game. And like I said, I've got two new two new suits that I got a couple days ago that I want to show off. Uh, but I haven't made videos for them yet. Which is the Zaku Commander and uh, Shar Custom uh, Zaku. I have no idea how to use the Zaku uh, Shar Custom at all. It plays very uniquely. As you can see here with the Space Leo, it's kind of, uh, I can say, kind of splats easy. It doesn't have very much hit points. It's kind of one of them you have to get set up, and then you just blam, 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 blam. And if you can get your suit set up right, even with the precision shooting, you can get your your shots going pretty fast with your sniper rifle, uh, which is good for like laser colony type maps. Also works quite well in Solomon for easy or normal mode. Just do that spammy effect of that beam. It also has Assault Commander, which is pretty useful for uh, for your team. It basically increases the attack damage of everybody on your team if you're under 50% health. It's kind of nice to have. As you can see here, me and Sin are quite evenly matched in terms of how to play the game, I suppose. <laughs> and this map here is Neo Tokyo. Uh, kind of stuck on music, again with that SOPA thing being a pain in the butt. Uh, you can kind of see my frustration <laughs> just trying to get v good videos up for you guys. I mean, it, the whole uh, Warner Music Group issue <laughs> is multiplied now due to that. Also, uh, again, I'm not going to talk too much about 
what SOPA does or what it's about because like I said they're amending it tomorrow so I have no idea and uh, also it's not my place to explain law so basically look it up yourself and interpret it uh, don't go to some random YouTube channel and hear them bellyache about it actually do the research before you look it up that's all I'm gonna s well, else I'm gonna say there Still, like I said again, though I don't understand this. Um, they want to prevent piracy, uh, and they or something, but yet um, at the same time, reviews and uh, commentators and you know uh, critics and stuff they gotta go through some happy horse stuff. Uh, basically. Uh, some of the summaries I got from it was that uh, you would have only extremely uh, game company friendly people doing it like uh, basically like you'd have G4 which sucks up to a whole heck of a lot of high graphic games and console games but don't really look at indie games too much uh, I mean you'd have shows like that, that, that just pretty much they shill. They don't actually do good reviews of what's good and what's bad. They just say, Oh well look at the nice graphics, look at the nice graphics and there you go. Oh that's a good game. The controls are good, smooth and that's it. But nothing else. They just ah uh but yeah. Uh, like I said, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is match number three, I believe. Uh, this time we just going wide open. This is two papers sniping the heck out of each other. Since we're so even here, we figured that the most sniper friendly map was the best way to go. Of course, he has a machine gun. I don't. I have this little wimpy energy rifle. <laughs> but lucky for me, he can't dodge, so I can at least snipe him. Uh, but like I said, as I just have no idea what future projects. Uh, I do have an indie game in mind that it's kind of years and years and years outdated, but I kind of enjoyed it. Called uh, Hydra Hydra Dungeon, uh, something like that. Uh, DC's Crab did it a while back ago. But since that's a good old indie game that's uh, freeware, I figured I would get that. I've also been playing this other silly little online game. It's called... Um, Backyard Monsters or something like that. Uh, I've been pretty much playing it for a badge and congregate. Uh, but it's okay, but it gets boring after a while. Pretty much once you get set up enough, all you have to do is just, well, log off, let it fill up, like play once an hour. You don't even have to get too much invested into it. But it's worth a trying if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, it's just I'm kind of not. But I have been playing it a lot lately, and I figured I'd just kind of brief mention.
I also can't wait for some new patches to S to go. I'd like to do some more missions. Kind of kind of where all I can do right now is PvP because of my rank. Uh, like I'm at, I'm at uh, the, the V rank, pay officer first. So I, and so I have to PvP constantly to get new missions, which is kind of annoying, but that's how the game is, so nothing can go there. Since the main focus of this is PvP combat, uh, you're expected to do a lot of uh, game fighting. Just when over half the maps lag on uh, my really low, low to mid-ish computer, uh, I kind of get burnt out. So I it's kind of grinding the wrong reason, but I can I can understand the point. Uh, so, uh, in the next video, uh, I'm going to have s a little bit of music for you. Uh, basically, I found out that I'm tone deaf. Uh, tone deaf is somebody who uh, can't really distinguish the pitches of music. Very well, uh, I believe. I, I can't fully explain it. <laughs> Uh, you, I even googled it and wikipedia it and everything and I still don't fully understand it. But basically it's just, like I said, you can't tell the different pitches of a uh, particular note or volume of a note. And when you're trying to do uh, composing, that kind of com gets in the way. Anyway, uh, yeah, S Y N wins uh, one out of th one out of three, one win and two ties. Uh, good fighting with you. Uh, later.